Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Okay, friends. It's wet out. I'm not going to work in the wood. The wood's wet. It's wet, damp, drizzly. So let's peel some spuds. Ah, Ashley! <laughs> let's peel some spuds. Well, I should look in the fridge first. I don't know if he peeled any or not. I'll look in the fridge first. <laughs> I know we peeled a, a grapefruit and an orange. I got forgot I had my meeting at eleven. Oh, okay. He cooked carrots. Hello, Stephanie. He cooked carrots. Look at all that uh, pot liquor. I have most of tomorrow, yesterday's live stream and your videos to catch up on. Woohoo! Oh, Linda. Good morning. I'm just getting on. Not even two minutes. Yeah, I've been trying to get on Zoom, but I can't get signed in. Because it's sending me a code, and I don't know where the code is going to. Carrot pot liquor, not burned. I know. <laughs> yeah. So I... I got leftovers from yesterday. I brought some potatoes with me. There's turnips here. Uh, and uh, I brought some beans if I need them. They must be seconds, they're not. <coughs> no, it says Canada number one. They don't seem like number one. Uh, he put them in the roast pan and cooked them in, uh, in the oven. The big oven in here. That's why I smell food smells in here today. I'm making soup and nutty cookies. Ah. I gotta make a soup. If I could only sleep at night and I could get up and start my day like a normal person, I could get stuff done. Yeah. That's how he cooks everything pretty well. In the roast pan, in the oven. All my vegetables. Well, once in a while, I'll put potatoes on top of the stove. Or, or carrots if I'm not here. Not a very good uh, view of... I don't know where Callie is. She must be over on that chair, maybe. On the other side of the stove. I can't see her. I got my new earrings on. Richie gave me for birthday. The heart ones. The green.
Ashley's got to go at 11. She's got a meeting. I don't know how long the meeting lasts. I got water boiling behind me. Kale and potatoes does hurt all through my hands and my wrist and up my arm. They're small potatoes. I wish they were big. Ah. Linda, how do you make nutty cookies? Yeah, good question, Stephanie. Thank you. Oh, yeah, you guys. I was going to do a get to know me. But I'll wait until Ashley's here. Ange activated. It was her idea. She's been in a few of my uh, lives. She was in here yesterday and she was... See, she suggest she did one, I think. And she just suggested it to me. I've never done one. I went on... Uh, I asked Google and I got a bunch of questions. So they're on my... Uh, community post Richard called me on the phone I thought I lost everybody I don't know I don't know if I'm still I still see myself on live but <laughs> Ashley's gone oh buffering buffering oh Am I back? Good. He's going to call me back, though. <laughs> In a couple of minutes, he's going to call me back. So it's going to happen again. But anyway, you're warned. I didn't know that was going to happen. I forgot he was going to call me at 11.30. Uh, butter, sweetener, eggs, almond extract, vanilla extract, almond flour, coconut flour, ground flax seed, chopped walnuts, raw, raw peps. I don't know what that is. P-E-P-E-T-A-S-L. Insides of sunflower seeds and sometimes ground cardamom seeds oh okay yeah are you gonna try it Stephanie that's probably not something I would I would do well no I mean you can substitute vegan butter and you can substitute something that, oh pumpkin Oh, are the insides of sunflower seeds? Oh, I never knew. That was Richie again. Ha! He's finally buffering, buffering again. It's not YouTube, Ashley. It's it's Richard called me on the phone, and that happened both times. It happened when he called me on the phone. So I guess we can't blame YouTube this time. <laughs> oh yeah, and baking powder and baking soda. There you are. Yeah, here I am. Richard phoned me again on the phone. He's, uh, we're finally getting the table. The kitchen table. His mom gave him. Because she's in that assisted living place now. And, uh... These potatoes are not very nice for number ones. 
That's how he's going to be bringing home the table and, and one chair, I think. It'll probably be like the chair that he sits in when he sits here at the table. I think it's a chair like that. So let's get some potatoes down here. Because I don't have any cooked or raw at the house, the trailer. So I'm going to take some of these home with me. Well, this. These potatoes are awful for number ones. Cut half of the potato away. Always something to growl about, Patty. hurts my arm. I don't like it. My whole hand and up my arm. Wrist. Stop repeating yourself. I haven't worn this top before. I found it in the closet the other day. In the room, I mean, when I was Looking for something else that I didn't find. So white goes with just anything too, so. I got on the green camo pants, leggings. Richard had the fire ready for me to make a fire, but I didn't make one. It is a little chilly here. Father's Day coming up. Is Richard dead? Uh, he's a stepdad to my two girls. We never had any. He never had any either, even before I met him, so... So that's why there's a dilemma what to do with this house when we're gone. It always went to the, the firstborn son of the, of the person that's living in it, that inherited it before. Like Richard's dad didn't have any brothers, he, he was an only son, but he had, I think he had one sister. But, Yeah, so Richie's got no... Jackie, hello! You can donate it to become a cat sanctuary. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Well, if Richard went first, just pass it on to the next living kin of Rich. Uh, I wouldn't know how to choose one. You mean a sister or a brother? Or a nephew or niece or cousin or... None of his brothers and sisters wanted it. If he goes first, I'll sell it. I'll sell it and keep the money for myself for all the aggravation I've put up with over the years. <laughs> That's what somebody told me to do. 
But I don't want to go first. That'll be me. Ha! Not that I'm not blood kin, but I'll sell it. Keep the money for myself. So it stays in the family. Well, none of them have his last name. That want it. Yeah. Yeah, they were going to sell it or tear it down. Yeah. Mom was happy that we took it and we're looking after it as best we can. I know we haven't done anything to it to spruce it up or anything, prove it, but we put a couple thousand dollars into it, but... That was on the roofs out in the buildings. I call first dibs. Oh! <laughs> Ashley, yeah! <laughs> yeah! I bet you Willis and Cupcake would like this. Well, no, I... If they're still here, that means Richie's gone. I don't want Richie gone. No offense, but I hope it never happens. <laughs> I should email this potato place. These are awful. <laughs> And say these potatoes shouldn't be number ones. They should be number five or something. No, you two still have tons of time left. <laughs> I hope so, hon. Take pictures of them and send them to the company. Oh! I already got them almost all peeled now. Yeah, I know. Their compliments, russets. I was, uh, rotten potatoes are the worst smelling thing ever. We got one thumbs up today. <laughs> yes, please. I'm going to take a picture of the bag, too. Yeah, it says number one, one right on it. Canada, number one.
I'll switch them over from that phone and I'll put them on my vlog video so everyone can see. <laughs> oh, somebody give me another thumbs up after you said that, Ashley. Or after I said what I said. I don't know who said it, but... I hate to beg, but... <laughs> Yeah, you guys, I was trying the, the Zoom, and I can't get signed into the Zoom because they're sending me some kind of a code. And I don't know where they're sending it because it didn't go to my Yahoo, and it didn't go to my Google. And it didn't go in the spam of either of those. I, I'll do it when I go home if the... Because I know I can get to my emails on F. I, F the email will come. I can get it on my computer. I got all three set up in the same spot. Throw half of the potatoes away, for heaven's sakes. I did that once with these chocolate-covered cherries I bought that were discolored. And they sent me two boxes of different treats. Ooh. Yeah, but this is just a code for me to sign in. To initially sign in. They might send me another code after that, but this is just for me to get signed in. I, I can't even, I'm not even signed in. Yeah, don't say that again, Patty. <laughs> don't say signed in again. <laughs> I got to get these peelings over to the there, over from under my nose, and my hand's dirty, so I can't take the camera. But I'll be right back. BRB. Gonna wash my gloves. Potato starch off my gloves. Yeah, she's asleep on that chair over there. Oh, bring the potatoes with me. There she is. Oh, I woke her. Whoa, did I wake you? Sorry. You're such a precious uh, homestead girl. Yes. Uh, oh. I better sign up for Zoom too. I've never used it. I've never used it either. This was going to be my first time. I put it on my phone. I, um, yeah, I put the app on my phone so I'd be ready today. And, and, well, that's what happened. I gotta, I need a bag. I need a paper bag. Where are they? Where's the paper bag, Chris? Oh. Of course, they're way up there. How's a short person supposed to? Oh. Oh. I got it. I got one. Why are you doing Zoom? Uh, so other people can be on with me. And in case I ever ask Chef AJ if I can be on her show. If it ever happens, I want to be ready. <laughs> I'm putting these peelings in this bag. Sorry for the racket. Uh, take them out later or tomorrow or something. Yeah, yeah, cool. Cool beans. Oh, yeah. Cool. Forgot I cooked these. Let's see now. I gotta put this in the oven, but I don't know what else. 
Oh, I'm going to put some potatoes in. Yeah, i got to put potatoes in the uh, carrots. Yeah. Okay, what did I do with my knife? Got it. I brought some potatoes with me. Did you check your junk mail? I got my code right away. Yeah, I did in my Yahoo and my Google, but it's not there. I got a cup of beans here. I just can't get in my email here. Yes, yeah, Stephanie, pumpkin seeds. I just wish they would send it to my phone and text and, and then, then I can get it right away. But I didn't see anywhere to have the choice of... my phone or my email. Yeah, I brought a couple pieces, uh, little pieces of sweet potato. I don't know if I've ever eaten a sweet potato over here before. Oh, there's another piece, <laughs> three little pieces. You got your code right away, but where did you get, where did they send it to you? You were able to open your email. Oh boy, you guys. <laughs> Look at this. And he puts some herbs in there and garlic and cooks them. Like that, Stephanie. <laughs> I put in my email when I signed up and it was sent right there. Huh. Well, I might be able to get it when I get home. I don't know on my home computer. Yeah, I finally got carrots. <laughs> well, let's have another big carrot. Okay, there we go. I guess that's all. That's all, folks. I gotta wash my gloves again. Okay, let's let's get this in the oven. I could put some put these in again. They're never cooked, right? I saved some of the smaller ones for Richie. He likes the smaller ones. Okay. The 
clarity. Thirty minutes. Just washing out my bowl. Then I brought my potatoes in. And this. With the potato peelings on it. They were quite dirty. Dirty potatoes too. Okay, so my belly's hungry. Be time to eat. It'll be time to eat when when that's done. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm always saying sorry. I might as well put these carrots in this dish and that way you can have the roast pan if he wants to cook something else sometimes if he has a turkey or a goose or Lovely bunch of carrots. Now we got all this pot liquor again. I'm putting the these on top of the carrots. There we go again. To the sink. I need a new dish thing. I know, I said it yesterday. I'll say it again today. I can't see that good, so I feel... I felt, always felt dishes anyway, even when I could see. Oh, just a minute, I see a, a comment. I think I'm under hiding. Okay, so. I can take these off. Yeah, Ashley, have you tried those there uh, cat uh, animal pet things? And they work. I'll get some. Or is anybody else cutting theirs? They're little plastic contraptions you put in your washer. And they're supposed to gather up all the pet fur in them. So, is anybody else? Carrots and Brussels sprouts. Oh, we're going to have the table. Oh, my goodness. You guys, I'm excited. What will I do if I don't growl about this table? I don't know. Ha! <laughs> I know.
Oh, there's Turner. He spilled his soup at work, he said. Oh, it's so hard getting in this fridge. You guys, you won't believe how hard it is getting in that fridge. I'll close this up because that's smelly. Carrots and... Carrots and, uh... Garlic and, and no onions. Yeah, I finally got my. As I am making my cookies, I remember 90% dark chocolate chopped. Oh, that's going in your cookies. I like to find one in stores. I've seen videos of using them and they seem legit. Oh, okay. I'm excited to see the table too, Ashley, because I haven't seen it. I don't know if it's the same table that Mum always had here. Let's see, this this fall. Oh, there's birds. Oh, it's gone. Uh, this fall, the, the end of October, I believe, it'll be five years. I know, it doesn't seem like it, does it? The time is just... Okay, I got... I got a knife here and a fork. I need a spoon. Let's have a sip of this. That open or closed? Open. This one leaks. I didn't want to go through the rigmarole of sending it back and Trying to get another one and that doesn't leak. I finally brought the the thing in the house from the van yesterday. One of these here things has got cat fur on it, but one of those. And got the cat food off my blank cat fur off my blanket. It was disgusting. Cause it was out in the van and disgusting. <laughs> I'm hungry. I could eat now. I could. But. Yeah, so I don't know if it's the same table or not. I can't even remember if it was a round table or. A... I hope it's not going to be too big with this bench in the back here because we got no other place to put that. Hmm, I don't want that gone. <laughs> we, I don't know what we'd have to... I don't know what we'd have to do, but... I don't want that gone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Get to know me. Ashley, are you are you busy now or not busy? Because I was waiting, waiting for you to be not busy. Not busy. Okay, let's get at it. Let's get two. Let's get two. I gotta get to my community post first. Let's see where is it my channel community read more oh okay does anybody have any questions first though I should say I'm no very not good at this, you guys. If anybody's got a question first, they can ask the question. I'm gonna move those potatoes away so I'm not smelling those.
They didn't have any eco spuds the other day. That's why you didn't get eco spuds. I found this out in the back porch on the in the pantry shelves. Little baby corns. But I, I got enough on my plate today, so I'll eat these another day. I hope he doesn't think I brought them for him. <laughs> well, we can share them. That's that's not very nice, Patty. Did anybody ask a question? Okay. Father's Day is coming up. Is Richie a dad? Uh, he's a stepdad to my two daughters. Yeah. He never had any children before we met, and I was 30 already, and... We were just starting out, and it was, yeah, just too late for me to have another baby. So, I mean, I physically could have, but. Anyway, so, but, you know, he's his stepdad to my two daughters. They were eight, uh, eight and nine when, when he met them. And now they're 51, and the oldest one will be 52, June 16th, which is only two days away. And then my baby sister is the 18th. My middle sister is the 25th. Okay, so if that's the only question... Or anybody can jump in and ask a question anyway, if they want to. doesn't matter if it's in the middle of this or not. Uh, what time do you go to bed? Well, I, anywhere is after 11 o'clock. And everybody probably already knows my insomnia story. So I'm up and down all night. But I try, I, I uh, start shutting things down at 11 o'clock. Trying to get my eyes tired enough. My body can be tired enough and my mind, but getting my eyes to shut, that's another thing. Who is your celebrity crush? Can anybody guess? Haha. <laughs> I used to talk about him all the time. I don't talk much about him on here. How would you rate your childhood on a scale to 1 to 10? Excellent, I guess. We were poor, but... Linda, you're right! <laughs> Linda got it! Johnny Cash! <laughs> the only voice that makes my heart go thump, thump, thump. <laughs> I mean, not not a crush like, uh, I guess not a crush like I would want to ever be with him because not that kind of a crush. <laughs> um, childhood, one to ten. I, I guess I'll say a ten. We were poor. We worked hard. We worked hard in our clam digging business with mommy and daddy. And we would dig the clams. We would carry the clams out. We would carry the clams in the house. We would all stand around the table and and uh, shell the clams and clean the clams. We'd wash the clams, put the clams in the in like a, a jam jar, where it's not like, but a, a jar, jam jar. There used to be a court back then. And we used to sell them door to door, 85 cents a jar. Now they're probably $10 a jar. Of course, that's before I was 17. That's when I left home. Um, so, yeah, so we learned how to work hard and we learned, we got paid and we learned how to, how hard it is to make money and how easy it is to spend it. I remember when I was 16, I had, I think, $69 in a little purse in my jean pocket back jean pocket and at roseway roseway beach we used to dig clams up there too uh yeah roseway and i had to go across a channel wade across a channel to get to the other side to dig the clams and my purse come out of my pocket and it was floating down the water 
And I'm scared of water, but I got my purse back with my $69 in it, and I bought myself my first typewriter. Typewriter back then. Yeah, I thought that was the coolest thing, but but when I got to the computer and the internet, oh, that was hooked me right off. I'm, I'm really addicted. I'm addicted to the click of the mouse. Yeah, and, and everything that instant at your fingertips. All right. Okay. That's my childhood. What is your middle name? My middle name is Patricia. My first name is Alice Patricia. I've had a lot of last names, but that's another story. <laughs> that's another story. What are your favorite values in friends? Values in friends. Honesty. Loyalty. Good question, Ashley. Uh, my mother's name was Alice Sylvia. And they called her Sylvia. And um, mine was Alice Patricia. And they called me Patty, pa Patricia. Well, they used to call me Patsy. Urgh. I hated that. And then I didn't want to be called Patricia until I was, oh gee, I was well into my 30s when I wanted to be, or maybe 40s when I wanted to be called Patricia, because then I realized it is a pretty name. So, but I've been called everything from Cow Patty to Patty Pop, Patty Popular. Uh, what's that other one? <laughs> there was another one. Funniest memory from high school. Well, I guess that would be when I got kicked out of class. For laughing because I, I was thinking about, just a minute, Ellen. I was, uh, I was saying about my dad riding a bicycle and it was funny to me and, and I couldn't stop laughing and I guess I got other people laughing too. I don't have a very good memory of it, but I don't have very many memories. Anyway, do you think Chef AJ would approve of Sobey's Mukbangs Patty? Um, I don't know, Ellen. Uh, she wouldn't do it herself, but... Somebody told me that everybody that is on her show isn't 100% SOS free. It's not like I'm going on there and eating animals. And, and highly processed foods, junk. I still am eating potatoes. But no, she wouldn't do it herself. But I don't think she would condemn me for, for doing it. I've, I've still managed to regain my health and and lose the the weight so yeah and I, if i didn't eat those i probably would have lost more than 100 because i do still probably have 20 at least 20 pounds of fat to lose but i'm i feel healthy healthier than i ever did in my whole life and I know I was sick my whole life, I uh, especially my digestion, right from the time I was born. And not knowing that animal, animal protein is the culprit. Uh, you think she would approve, Ashley? I don't think she would uh, condemn me for it. Or not want me on her show because I always advocate to do the least restrictive to get you the results you want. Yes, Stephanie. Yeah. Like I go, I don't have, I don't even have... Uh, oil in my home anymore or, or any kind of fat in my home. I do have a package of lard because that's what I put on my mouse traps. But um, other than 
Yeah, I, I don't. Uh... So, yeah, I have to master this Zoom thing first before I think about asking Chef AJ. <laughs> Somebody asked me yesterday, I think it was Kay. I think she would approve of you. Well, I, I, I don't think I've ever told her that I eat so, uh, my, um, um, taters at the Sobeys. Or do you, Ellen, do you mean the fact that I'm eating the, the tater wedges or the fact that I'm broadcasting it all over my channel that I'm eating, uh, eating the mukbang? I have way more healthy mukbangs at home than I do. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, Kay, I think it was Kay yesterday. She said, would it, would it be okay with you if I contacted uh, Chef AJ and um, say you want to be on her show? And I, and I said, well, no, give me a while. I, it's something i got to psych myself up for. I've already been psyching myself up for two years because <laughs> I said to myself, after I lose the hundred pounds, then I'm going to, I'm going to ask Chef AJ, but. Okay. So, all right. That's that one. What is your favorite holiday? Well, that would be Christmas because of my faith and because I love Prezzies and it's so pretty too. And. But my, the top one is my faith. Uh, what is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant. I don't even go to restaurants anymore. Once upon a time, it used to be Pizza Delight or Pizza Hut, whatever is in Bridgewater across from the exhibition grounds. Used to go there at noon time and all you can eat pizza and pasta and stuff. And I used to gorge myself and gorge myself so I barely needed anything for supper. But then I would have frozen yogurt. Uh, favorite restaurant. What is an interesting fact about me? I don't know <laughs> what what is a fact what what's an example of a fact a fact is I love whole food plant-based eating style and I love the intermittent fasting I love being a volume eater do I have a hidden talent uh, it's not singing. <laughs> um, no, uh, not that I can think of. Well, I do. I, I knitting and crocheting. Yeah, knitting and crocheting. I, I, I've never shown that to you guys, but I, I've done that ever since mummy taught me. Mommy didn't teach me to crochet. She taught me how to knit. <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> the volume eating is a talent. <laughs> oh, I learned that from Chef AJ. You can eat until you're full. Because there's these here receptors in your stomach that if you just put a little bit of food in there, they never get to do what they're supposed to do. But... Don't even ask me what they're supposed to do, but... Oh! Oh, my phone fell over. <laughs> and so did this. <laughs> um, what is the first thing you notice about people? Well... People. <laughs> if it was men, it would be their eyes. Um, up until I met Richard, I was a blue eyed, a blue eyed girl. I, I was like blue eyes, but then Richie had brown, 
you switched me over. But people in general, I guess I like, um, first thing I notice, a sense of humor, I guess. But a sense of humor. Did a fly just go by here or something? <laughs> my hidden talent is eating my volume eating. <laughs> I love that, Ashley. <laughs> oh, yes. Mommy taught me how to knit. And uh, then when I was 21 and I was trying to quit smoking for my third time. I quit both times when I was pregnant just because it made me sick. Not because we knew it would hurt the baby or about cancer. But anyway, I wanted to quit the, the third time. So I, my, um, my then husband's uh, cousin was teaching me and she was left-handed. So uh, it took me a while. Anyway, so I, and then the rest of it, I taught myself from uh, patterns and pictures and uh, later YouTube. Yeah, so someday, maybe in the winter, <laughs> maybe next winter, I'll dig out some crocheted stuff and, and I'll show, go through it. And I got bags and bags of it done up. Can't even, hard, no, you can't even give it away, let alone sell it. I went to three, three craft sales and I sold one scarf for four fifty. And it cost me five dollars each time for a table. <laughs> so anyway, what is your favorite piece of clothing? What caused you to stop coffee and alcohol? Okay, that's a good one, Stephanie. That's not in my list. Uh, coffee was back in '97 after I went to the environmental health doctors. And there's more in coffee that's bad for you besides just caffeine. So, uh, and I had stomach problems. I had been drinking black coffee for a number of years. Oh, really, Linda? Yeah, I think I'm pretty good at keeping the tension. So, I, uh, I was drinking, well, and I was drinking up to 12 cups a day. So, no wonder my stomach was ripping out. So, anyway, so after that, he said, try to give up coffee, you know, gradual. No big, don't do it uh, all at once. So, I did. I gradually cut down, and my last uh, cup of coffee was with my friend, whose birthday is today, actually. Um, and uh, it was um, January... 12th or 13th of 1997 and I think I had coffee ice cream maybe a couple times since then and through the years this was when mommy was still alive because we always stopped and got ice cream cone yeah one day we were sitting on the side of the road eating our ice cream cones and come off a lock port over where we see the ocean over there the Crescent Beach and so this friend stopped and said, are you broke down? Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, we're just eating ice cream. <laughs> anyway, and so that was uh, the coffee. And the alcohol was back in 1991 when I became a Christian. I... Uh, I didn't completely stop drinking alcohol, but I didn't have to have it. Uh, I didn't have to have as much of it. So I just had uh, one drink at nine o'clock at night. Not, not anything to, uh, you know, get, where's my questions go? Oh no. I just lost my questions. Oh, there they are. So I just had one drink at nine o'clock at night. And then there was a short time when I stayed with my sister, whose husband passed away very young. And I stayed with her. And uh, 
I would drink a pint of vodka on a weekend. Three drinks on Friday night and three drinks on Saturday night. And then after that, I would just have like, um, have a cooler with a, a sister-in-law or a beer with Richard on a hot day or something. And then I just decided to give it up. When I started this, I decided to give it up altogether. So I can't, I did, I didn't take note of the date. I know it's out over three years, but I can't. I don't think I still drank after I started this. I don't know. Because I know one of the things that Chef AJ says, salt, oil, sugar, flour, alcohol. Because it's salt, oil, flour, alcohol, and sugar. Yeah, sofas. Instead of SOS free, she says sofas free. Yeah, so maybe it might be five years since I. Anyway, those are the reasons. And I feel, you know, I feel way better for it. I don't miss them. Oh, once in a while on a hot day, I I think about, still think about, like, to have a, a bottle of beer with Richie, but. But we don't socialize anymore since the pandemic. So that took care of visiting or having visitors. And even be besides that, I, I have the problem with the, the scents on people. So people just can't drop in on me. And I can't go to their houses because even laundry detergent, dish detergent, it's just doesn't have to be an air freshener it, it used to be hairspray and perfume but laundry detergent has taken over the world it's the most toxic thing okay so all right favorite piece of clothing oh i haven't gotten to that yet oh yeah because uh yeah so that's uh is that good enough stephanie Good enough, uh, long-winded explanation. Oh, my goodness. I am long-winded. I, I guess my food is ready. I'm going to uh, close this up. I'm going to go get my, my big plate of food. These pants, I still have to pull them up in the back, but not as bad as the, they're not as loose as the other ones. I know there's another comment there. I'll be right there. Callie's all curled up. BRB. Screenshot. No, wait a minute. Yeah, okay. Screenshot. <laughs> Bat wings. Let's see, what do I need? Oh, I was going to have a... These are the cucumber, that cucumber I put in this pickle juice yesterday. And I want to clean up the rest of these. I want this jar. <laughs> I might as well dump the juice out of it. The vinegar, water, salt, water, whatever it is. If I can open it, yeah. I got it open. 
I got it open, friends. Just a minute. I usually dump this outdoors so I don't smell this in the hose. But I'm doing it right down in the drain, so... There. That should be good enough. Oh, good, Ashley. I heard it. I heard the, the screenshot come. Okay, now let's... I got some comments here I gotta look at. Stephanie. I learn a lot from you. Some I relate and some I use myself. Oh, cool! I'm glad to hear that, Stephanie. What I learned, I left, learned from Chef AJ. And she learned from John, Dr. John McDougall and Dr. Alan Goldhammer and Doug Lyle and Who else? This is a weird meal to have uh, beans in, but oh well. <laughs> oh well. My Brussels sprouts are sinking to the bottom again when I'm trying to cut them. <laughs> so I'll mangle them again. I should have cut them before I put them on here. Shovel it in, Patty. Shovel it in. You will have to add, uh, get ready, um, get to know me to your title after. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, that might draw some people in. It's a good thinking, Ashley. Thank you. Yeah, I got to mingle and marry this. I got to get some, uh, my lemon pepper on it. Yeah, uh, Ellen, I don't know if you said anything after I answered your, I don't know if you're still here or not. Like, she, she gets stuff like this, but she gets salt free. Well, I can't always get salt free. And this has some salt in it, but I still use it. Oh no, my my uh, thing. They're gone. My uh, questions are gone. Do do do. Do 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 do. Hmm. It doesn't show me live. I can finally chew a little today. I weighed myself and I lost five pounds. Oh, no. Oh, no, hon. Gee. That's not good. Since you don't have much to lose. I mean, me, it would, it would be okay, but. Uh, 
yeah, tomorrow or whenever I gotta make some more rice. Yeah, my YouTube, my live YouTube isn't coming up on here, so I can't, I can't even watch it. If I wanted to look at the comments like I had to before. Oh, there it is. It won't let me edit it uh, from here. But, okay, let me get back to my community. Okay, where was I? Oh, favorite piece of clothing. <laughs> okay good I was wondering when I should between July 1st and uh, when is the exhibition the end of August Look at all these colors, these beautiful orange and green and another different orange for the turnip and white for the potato and brown for the beans. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, Linda, good. Is Sean eating with you or just you? Oh, it's the end of July? Wow, I thought it was like the end of August. Oh. Mmm. Favorite piece of clothing. Okay. Um, that was quite chewy, whatever, it tasted like a, oh, it was probably that carrot from yesterday, that package of carrots. Because the carrots he, put, he cooked are very done, they're done nice, beautiful. Um, uh, favorite piece of clothes. Um, <laughs> uh, I really enjoy my hats. Not any particular one, but I do love this one. But I do enjoy wearing my hats. I'm quickly enjoying my um, leggings. Yeah, I wear it a lot. Because it's pink and purple and because of these words. We might be still on live when Richard gets home with the table. Wouldn't that be something? It's hard. It's hard for me. Uh, that would be something, wouldn't it, Ashley? 
of the table came when we, when we were on live. I've been going on about this table forever, you guys. Okay, uh, did I go to college? No, I didn't go to college. I took grade 10 the second year, and I went to a vocational, um, well, it's called community college now. They called it a vocational school when I went there in 1968, 60, 68, 1968. I wanted to take um, hairdressing, but it was all full up. And it's a good thing because I, I can't even go in a hairdresser's place now and get my hair cut. And so I took retail merchandising. And I, I enjoyed it. I passed it. I don't know if I have the certificate anywhere or not. I see the sun's trying to peek through here. Uh, and I couldn't get a job because I didn't have experience. I couldn't get experience because I couldn't get a job. But then... When I was 18, I got pregnant anyway and married 19. And when I was when I was uh, 20, 1972, I started work at look that disappeared again. I started work at a fish plant and I worked in fish plants. After I had to quit uh, fish plants, I had, I went, uh, I looked after kids, not a live-in nanny, but I was, uh, so, what was that? College. How long was your longest relationship? That would be me and Richard. Yeah. My other one was nine years, but it wasn't a good nine years. Well, Um, yeah, even when Richard and I were separated and divorced, we were still friends and still did stuff for each other and helped each other. So, at the end of October, it'll be 41 years. Since our first date together, just him and I. I lived in the small village where we went and delivered wood the other day and, and uh, saw where the fire had been. That's where we lived. All there was was the corner store. The woman that bought it for my dad. That's all that was there. Wasn't well, nothing to do. So, we just went for a ride up to the beach. Anyway, so mine is six and a half years out of there. I don't think this question belongs in here. Because it says favorite subject in school. I hate it, school. I might have liked algebra. I can't remember. 
a long time ago, friends. <laughs> a long time ago. Favorite ice cream flavor? It used to be, I don't know, there was a peanut butter chocolate one from Chapman's and the cherry one, chocolate cherry one. Utterly divine. Death by chocolate. Mmm. So now it's uh, banana, blueberry with cherries. Uh, or fresh blueberries or and a few walnuts on top I don't I don't really I don't crave chocolate anymore everything had to be chocolate before My first job. Well, I babysat a couple times as a teenager. My first job at age 17 when I left home, excuse me, nose running, was a living nanny. To a family, they had one little boy. I think he was four, or four years old, or something. And the mother had surgery, and she couldn't do, so they just hired me for a few weeks. Same here. Everything, that, excuse me, had to be chocolate. Yeah. And so I did that, and then. I guess after after I got married, when I got a job, I worked at um, Moyer's Chocolate Factory in Halifax, Nova Scotia. I think now it's moved over to the Dartmouth side. I had my oldest daughter, and I was pregnant with the second one. And then this... Yeah, I know. Moyer's Chocolate Factory. <laughs> I know. It was hard. Every time I went, we drove by there, uh, the smell, I would just get so hungry and want chocolate. Um, then when I started working there and I was pregnant, uh, the smell made me sick. And they didn't care if you was pregnant or not. You still had to lift those heavy uh, pallets and stuff around, so I quit. And then, the next time I worked, it was at um, National National Sea Products Lockport Division, 1982. The same building where Richard works now, just a different company. Um, and I loved it. I had to quit there and, well, the plant closed down in 89. Yes, Linda. Hopefully. The first item on my bucket list. It was to ride a horse, but I did that two years ago. Richard surprised me and took me to a, a, a friend of his, a, a work person that works with him. And I got on a horse. It was scary, but fun. So 
So I, I guess I don't really have a bucket list. Um, I guess my short term bucket list now would be July 1st, the exhibitions. Uh, Sable River Fun Fest down here. Those are my outdoor um, outings. The worst thing I ever had to do was put my firstborn child into daycare. I don't even remember. Six months old. I don't remember how upset I was. I honestly don't remember. It wasn't daycare, though. I, th I think it was my older sister. So it wouldn't have been quite as bad. Uh, my go-to hairstyle. <laughs> well, there for a while it was my pigtails. Another one of those crunchy carrots from yesterday. And now it's my short list. I, I don't think I'll ever have pigtails again. Even though I liked them and they were, I thought they were cute, but Richard says he likes this better. I think though, I like this, but I think the pigtails were cute, but I like this. I think I'll always have it like this now. Have I ever been to any concerts or festivals? No, not really. The only thing I would have had live music would have been um, at an exhibition. Yeah. If you could change one bad habit of yours, what would it be? Uh, that would be the, the taters, the tater wedges. If I could change that, if I could find something else that I enjoy just as much. Memorable childhood memory. I was reading these over last night and I was thinking about this stuff while I was uh, putting them in my community post. Um, I think that would be when we were clam digging on the Jordan River. Well, there's two there, actually. Two, I don't, they weren't the same day, I don't think, but... I don't think anybody else is uh, saying anything, Linda. Ashley said something uh, four comments up. Anyway, we were... And I was down... The tide was coming, and it's a mud flat. And I was down near the water, and the tide was coming, and my boot got stuck in the mud. And you know how if you try to pull it out, it'll suction? I couldn't get my boot out. So I just took my foot right out of the boot and left the boot. <laughs> I don't remember. If somebody went and got the boot, they must have. But I don't remember that part. Because the tide was coming. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Stephanie. Yeah, I'm reading the questions from over here on my community post. 
But anybody's welcome to put in a question. So, and then another time we was down there. We was down there and we was walking through and there was this big horse. I don't know. I think I called him Jock or something. And this one time, he come galloping up the hill behind us. And we had to get out like there was a, it was a driveway. And we had to scurry and get off of the driveway because he come right up behind us over the hill. And we thought he was going to run us down. Ha! I love to listen to Patty. <laughs> I don't know how you're not all deaf. Do you have any pets? Callie 1, Missy, and Callie 2. Callie 2 is the homestead kitty here. You guys all know the kitties. Richard had a dog when I first met him. And we adopted a dog together in 1988. And I think he was with us until 2000. And um, the smell of the dog fur, I can't handle the smell of the dog fur, especially after they've been outside. It does the same to me as, as the food smells or the gas or perfume or paint or smoke or... Do you think I must be part French, you guys, the way I... Yeah, I know. I went to buy a car one time and over the antifreeze smell, I could smell wet dog. And that's after she covered it over. Hey, you guys, look. Look at his hair. <laughs> Can you see him? Yeah, I know. Here he comes. Let's go out. <laughs> I'm eating, so. <laughs> yeah. Party time at the old homestead. Oh, it's so exciting, isn't it, Callie? Oh, it's so exciting. Dad's home. He's got a table and a chair. Woo. Let's go out and see. I don't know what happened to you, hon. We're live. What? We're live. Yeah. <laughs> what do you got on the back of there, huh? Oh. oh, it didn't get wet. Huh? It didn't get wet. No, well, because I thought it was spitting rain, drizzling. No, I'm only home. no. I guess things have dried off some. I'm eating at the table, so we can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating. Oh, uh, Ashley put party balloons and stuff. We want to see that table. Hi, Richie. Stephanie said, "There it is." Yeah, no, going to have snow enough. Yeah, they will. It does have a little, uh, a little. Uh, Look at side racks falling to pieces. Oh my goodness! The side racks falling to pieces. The There's the other chair. I don't know that blew off when I was coming. Oh. That's easy to sew back on. It does have a little drawer in it. Yep. I can't open it now. It's upside down. Yeah. Well, is there something in it? A couple of things. <laughs> the new table at the old homestead. Careful, it'll get you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Oh, floor protectors. And a couple of these. But they don't have the thing on them. They're no good. These aren't any good. They don't have the sticky things on them. Oh. Are you going to put silverware in that? I don't know. What do do with it? it would be handy, hon. Silverware. If we had a little small thing to put in there. Well, you can just put put something on the bottom of it. You know that uh, placemat that's you got over there by the window now that's aggravating me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't tell you yet that it's aggravating me, but <laughs> it is. Um, Something popped on there. You can cut that. Thank you, Stephanie. This was his parents' table. It is wobbly, but I hope it's the, the floor here and not the... I don't want something under the table leg again. Yeah. I don't like wobbly tables. I'm going in. Oh, <laughs> there's the chair. Yeah, Mom painted them. Well, what color is the chair we ever got? I think it's this color. Or a greenish color or something, I don't know. But you know that new chair we got the other night? Hmm. Cat was sleeping on it already. <laughs> Kelly was sleeping <laughs> on my new chair, Al. Yeah. We can use those sticky pads in the drawer if you need to. Yeah. Yeah, there's sticky things underneath the, to build it up. Something that's going to be stuck to it instead of instead of something that can be kicked out from under it because that. Uh, 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 I know. I don't know where you're going to put that until after I'm done eating. Just leave it there. Yeah. Might as well uh, unpin those, uh, untie those uh, cloth things. Cloth will hold the smell. Of smells. I smell something already. Yeah. It's not the worst I've smelled, but yeah, it can't be in the house with me. All right, I'm gonna go finish eating. Are you talking about the cushions? Yeah. Or the chair? No, the cushions. The chair will air off. Look, there's a, a string. Just tie it to one of the other strings. All right, yeah. Okay. All right, how exciting is that, you guys? Rich, you said you were sleeping on the new chair. Were you sleeping on the new chair? This chair in here she was sleeping on, he said. <laughs> That's going out in the shed. I'll be I'll be sitting on that out in the shed. No, you got food. Good girl. Gee, it's almost chilly now. Uh, oh yeah, you peeled me, uh, grapefruit and orange, but I don't know if I... Okay, now, where was we? Yeah, good idea, uh, Ashley. I gotta get this back again. Get me a mouthful. Where was I? Pets, yeah. We all know about the pets. Siblings. Um, I had two older sisters from my dad's first marriage. Then there's my uh, middle sister, my brother, and my baby sister there was six uh, six kids daddy had six kids all together mommy had four and two miscarriages city or country country 
I lived in the city for uh, outskirts of the city of Halifax for a year and I cried every day. I grew up in Little Harbor, Nova Scotia, Canada, where we delivered the wood the other night and looked at the fire, where the fire was. Social media platform do you use the most? That would be YouTube. Rich's hair. What do you want? If we found the carrots cooked. Are we done? Mmm. Perfect. They were done to perfection, huh? Good. Good. Are you going to eat any of them? I don't know. Paid all the wieners. Are you saying that to Richard, Ashley, uh, Linda, that I will keep him? What? Uh, I'm talking to Linda. Oh. I'm not really hungry. I can't believe you didn't take the Huh? You know what I said. What you forgot to take? Oh. Oh, oh well, I'll keep him all right. I will be long, long as I get home. No. Uh. Where am I going to my phone? Right there. He spilled his soup at work. I didn't even see a boy of these. Probably because I got it at the market one day. Mm. Stack it in the fridge. It's the Super Lo Lo Joe Louie. Super Louie. So everybody have a good day. Going to run some errands. Thank you, Stephanie, for being here with us. See you. See you in the next one. I'm not going to do any more questions now anyway. I'll, I'll do the, some more of the next one. I think it was a motorcycle went by. That might have been seen. No, it looks like a triple. Three oh layers. Oh my goodness, look at that. Three layers. Got something? I got it in the freezer, but it won't freeze all of it. No. I'm going to boat it. Well, I think if you put a cake in the freezer, I don't think it freezes solid. I think you can bring a, a cake out and still cut it. Well, okay. You guys, I'll do the rest of the questions and add some more questions to it. What? Yeah, the other chair it matches this chair. It might be handy to leave them out on the deck for a little while. We don't have a deck. <laughs> the table's going to be narrower this way, but it's going to be longer this way, so this chair is even going to be more in the way in here. I have to find some more to put them. I don't know where, huh? I don't know where. 
I'm thinking. Oh, boy. <laughs> He's thinking, you guys. If you see smoke coming from his ears, you'll know. I got two more birthday cards uh, in the mail somewhere. Mm -hmm. Get the mail either today or tomorrow. Oh, yeah, and I saw uh, grapefruit and um, orange cooked. Peeled. Ah, uh, peeled. <laughs> <laughs> cooked. <laughs> I hope it didn't tempt you to want to eat one. One more. Grapefruit. A lot of them. Yeah, well, don't, don't get me any more then. Oh, well, we'll What are we going to do at this table? Well, this table can just go out and, and put a piece of plywood over it and use an outdoor table for some wires. Yep, we have to get the barbecue together. Huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes, he did, Ashley. There's um, a funeral service this afternoon for a long-time employee over there. Thirty or thirty-one years or something like that. So they wanted the plant closed up by noon time. Get another thought of that, maybe five years, if it was that long. Had a heart attack and died, and he took a whole day off of him. Is that somebody I knew? Joe Lewis. Oh. I didn't know him, but he was only there five years? I don't think it was that long. Well, what did you get today from Town Market for the eat? That's called a barbecue rib sandwich. <laughs> That's what and you is. already ate it, and now you're eating that too? Once you get munchy now. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Always get munchies. Mmm. I can't lift that bag out of there. I try to lift that garbage bag out of there and the pull and it pulls in my leg. More garbage day? Um we don't matter if we get a box. Hmm. And I wouldn't be able to carry it down anyway. I could take it down in the wheelbarrow, I suppose, but just the walking. I'll let you do it. It's ready to come out now. Mm. It's full. You lift it out of there and I'll... There's something else I want to put in it and then I'll tie it up. That wasn't heavy. It was to my leg, huh? <laughs> well, it's kind of heavy because the leg is stretching. Huh. That might be tied up. That's coming to fall now. Oh. 
Well. How big is something you're going to put in it? I can't see how big pan is in the way. Set that over there. See, it's stretching the bag, ripping the bag. Something heavy. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see, hon. I'm eating! Don't panic! <laughs> well, I'm going outdoors for a few minutes then. When it was cold, it. Did you have a fire today? No. Look at the thermometer right there. You've never had a fire. No, but I see it's ready. Uh, oh, yeah, if you needed it. Huh? If you needed it, it would be ready. Yeah. Hi, she's following you. Twenty-three three quarters. Twenty-three? Twenty-three and three quarters. Hmm. Yeah. Might as well say twenty-four. This here thing here, you can cut that down and you can put that in the bottom of that table. Um drawer. Put the silverware in. Cause I hate that. What does that little white thing fit in there? I don't think. What little white thing? That the forks in there. Oh, I don't know. Is that one for you to fool around with when you? Can breathe in. Thirteen and a half for eleven and a half. Yep, thank you. Right with that. Thirteen and a half for eleven. I was gonna save some of this and eat the rest of the and eat some pickles on a banana bar. Mm -hmm. We can look for one. I think it's 11 by 11 and a half if they're not the major demo. 11 by 11 will work. Not all of the silverware, but at least a few forks, knives, spoons, and yeah. Mm -hmm. We just stash the rest of the in the pantry. Mm -hmm. Or they can stay in that. Yeah, that's what I meant. The whole thing in there. Mm -hmm. Well, you want to buy this? I'm overfull now. Huh? Yep. Work tomorrow at 7.30? Yep, back to normal. Back to normal. I'm looking for my hat and on my head. I gotta get some longer screws and put in that. Should have nuts and bolts. 
but we won't be hauling that much more wood on that for a while. One more cord for now, right? Yeah, we're well, we gonna fill it one more time. Well, and a couple for Dan. And maybe fill it a couple times for Dan. Well, he don't want one, did he? Yeah, but if we don't, you put it on the truck, it's twice. Yeah. Scratching the woodwork. Well, I'll have to put a couple. I need to take the screws out and put them in a different place. Because they popped out. What's she doing now? Scratching the wall. Wait a minute. Don't well, you didn't put her scratching thing, so. You never did get one. No. Mm -mm. We never did get one out of the trailer either. Nope. Since 1986. <laughs> never done yet. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Okay. I gotta go to the door for a few minutes. Yeah. What are we gonna do? Did you make it long? I don't know. What was you gonna do? Well, I got to do them side-backs for one thing. Some time today. Because mm. they're falling off. I don't know what that was. Something on this phone. Yeah. Ashley sent me a snap. Oh. Snack. Oh. They're so darling. The kitty cats. It looks like two mice. Looks like what? No, I talked to Ashley. Oh. It looks like I see two mice. One wired and one not wired. I don't have any potatoes. Over to the trailer, raw or cooked. I peeled a bunch today. They're in that pot over there, but I gotta take a few home with me somehow so I can. Yeah, cooked or not cooked? Some of them not cooked. Yeah, I just peeled them. Well, I'll probably end up, we'll probably end up something. We'll end up more than what we want. Why not? Because when we do average, we only want 14 inches. Right? Oh, yeah. We can put a big stone. I wouldn't hurt. Um. Oh, wait a second. Hey, Marcy. Oh, okay. Uh, actually, that's what I would have guessed. Hey, Marcy. Richie's here. Um, what was the last thing you said? Oh, yeah. Well, that one can take a bunch of different sizes. Go in and measure it this way. How long the pieces can go from this way? Oh, uh, yeah. Tell me to get it. You can do something. Mm. When you want to do something, why can't? I have no time. Yeah. Mercy said hello, Richard. Huh? Mercy said hello, Richard. Oh, hello. Oh, it's time. That couldn't take no longer than 14 inches. What? What's that button? You put it this way. 
buggery work here. That way it could be horny. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks she's your cat. It is. No, you're just boring her, remember? It is. So, all sizes will fit in there then. Callie, you can't go in the stove. She wants to jump in there. Let her go. No, okay. She would feel the heat, honey. She wouldn't. She's such a beautiful girl. You should have saw the look in her eyes. Hmm. Yeah. Huh? Be careful. Get up. She can reach your face, remember? All right. All right. I gotta go. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna want to do anything. I'm probably going home. Huh? Yeah. You need me for anything? You might want your money. What money? Any money. <laughs> what? Any money. Why, have you got money? No, I don't. I said I want your money. Oh! Huh. Maybe he wants to watch a movie with you. No, he's got stuff to do. Well, He'll never sit down and watch something on TV. Well, in the middle of the afternoon. In the middle of the afternoon, especially. It would be late at night. I'm already trying to wind down getting to sleep. I suppose you could go and buy, buy me a case of beer. But you got no money. Don't aggravate me, hon. I'm telling you right now. Me. Tell me, guys, don't aggravate her. Me. Get her all riled up before it's time to lay down. Eat one of these. No. I'm full. What is it? Cucumber, I, I peeled and, and put it in here. Are you pickled it? Mm hmm. I'm trying to make you very good doors, you'll already be home. Is that all you're eating? Yeah, I was going to eat banana and uh, right food and stuff, but this was a big pile of food, so. <laughs> it's this. All right, we're going to the doors. Well, stop saying it and just do it. Say it. Don't you want to try this first? No. All right, we'll my heaven. One, then. See? One little piece, not a big one. I got fingers. He's not scared to get the smell on his fingers. I won't. I won't be smelling his fingers. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not for me. You good? Here we go. He's going. Yeah, I gotta You gotta, uh... Tell me where to put that stuff. What if you bring some tomorrow? What? Wade. You gonna tell me where to put it? Is he gonna bring it tomorrow? 
Hmm? Did you bring it tomorrow? He said if it's not Thursday, it'd be next week. Well, I'll tell me before you get home, we'll go down and have a look. All right. I want to get up and share the magic. All right. Let me get this out of the way. Hey, man. She's mad, you guys. He tried to pick her up. Well, her hind, her front end, he tried to pick her up. Uh, I'm going to pour pot liquor in this. I got a sweep here tomorrow. That's all there is to it. Liquor. Okay. Now he's got the roast pan in case he needs it. Okay. So, now I gotta get things arranged so I can get ready and go home. Taking this with me and this gradual take things with me. It's okay, Calvin. It's okay. Somehow I gotta take some taters I'll just put him in this. I'll put him in water when I get home. I don't have to cook him anyway. I'm going to put the rest of them in the fridge here. Yeah, my leg is making me limp. Oh. oh, it's so hard putting things in this fridge. That's enough sawing, Patty. Just put it up 
put it inside of there. Uh. All right. I'm tying up a garbage bag. There, it's tied up. <sighs> I'm just tired. Tired, tired, tired. I gotta see if anybody said anything. What are they in? What are what in, Mercy? I need to get some stuff done. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Take care, hon. Sorry, I missed you. I do need a nap, Patty. I'm going to go clean my big mess kitchen and take Sean for a walk. Bye, everyone. See ya. Yeah, the pickle, the cucumbers in the pickle juice. Yeah, I am going to... I am going to... Uh, cut this off and go home and rest and <sighs> oh <sighs> shouldn't sit down so anyway I'm going to say see ya for now. How come it only says 21 minutes? I've been on here way more than 21 minutes, you guys. Anyway. Yeah, I'm going home. Lay down. See you in the next one, friends. Lord willing. I don't know why it started over. It says 22 minutes. Peace! We'll do some more questions tomorrow. Hugs back!